The McCoy MiG-29 Fulcrum is a twin-engine fighter aircraft designed in the Soviet Union. Developed by the McCoy Design Bureau as an air superiority fighter during the 1970s, the MiG-29, along with the larger Sukhoi Su-27, was developed to counter new U.S. fighters such as the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle and the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. The MiG-29 entered service with the Soviet Air Forces in 1983. The MiG-29 was assigned dual air superiority and ground attack roles. This multi-role fighter was also tasked with tactical nuclear strike. For this role, it carried RN-40 nuclear bombs with a blast yield of 30 kT. Incorporating an advanced aerodynamic design, the MiG-29 has a N-019 Pulse Doppler radar, NATO reporting name slot bag, as its primary sensor. This is allied to an infrared search and track for passive tracking of targets. The basic MiG-29 has proved itself as a formidable close-in dogfighter. The pilot has a helmet-mounted sight to cue missiles onto an off-bore sight target. The very agile R-73 missile remains widely viewed as the best close combat air-to-air -air weapon. However, the MiG-29's primary beyond visual range weapon, the R-27, Western reporting name A-10 Alamo, is no more than adequate. Furthermore, the RD-33 engines suffer from low maintainability, and the MiG-29 is also handicapped by its lack of range and endurance. The latter parameters were addressed by an improved 9-13 variant allocated the NATO reporting name Fulcrum C. This featured a bolt and extended spine, which houses both fuel and avionics, including an active jammer. Commonly nicknamed Gorbatov, Hunchback, this variant was built alongside the standard 9 to 12 MiG 29s. The MiG 29 fighter is equipped with seven external weapon hardpoints. The aircraft can carry up to two or 27 air-to-air medium-range missiles, six or 73 and or 60 air-to-air short-range missiles, four pods of S-5, S-8, S-24 unguided rockets, air bombs weighing up to 3,000 kilograms and 30 millimeters built-in aircraft gun with 150 rounds of ammunition. The R-27 medium-range air-to-air missile is supplied by the Vimpel State Engineering Design Bureau, based in Moscow. The R-27 is available in two configurations, the R-27R, which has a semi-active radar homing head and inertial navigation control with a radio link, and the R-27T missile, which is fitted with an infrared homing head. The missile can intercept targets with a speed of up to 3,500 km per hour at altitudes from 0.02 to 27 km, and the maximum vertical separation between the aircraft and the target is 10 km. The Vimpel R-73 missile is an all-aspect, short-range air-to-air missile known by the NATO codename AA-11 Archer. The missile has cooled infrared homing and can intercept targets at altitudes between 0.02 and 20 km, target G-load to 12G, and with target speeds to 2,500 km per hour. The Vimpel R-60, NATO codename AA-8 AFID, short-range air-to-air missile can engage targets maneuvering at an acceleration up to 12G. The R-60M has an expanded range of target designation angles to plus or minus 20 degrees, a heavier warhead, and an upgraded infrared homing head with photodetector cooling. The MiG-29 has two widely spaced Klimov RD-33 turbofan engines, each rated at 50.0 kN, 11,200 lbf, dry and 81.3 kN, 18,300 lbf, and afterburner. The space between the engines generates lift, thereby reducing effective wing loading, hence improving maneuverability. The engines are fed through intake ramps fitted under the leading edge extensions, Lurxes, which have variable ramps to allow high Mach speeds. Due to their relatively short combustor, the engines produce noticeably heavier smoke than their contemporaries. As an adaptation to rough field operations, the main air inlet can be closed completely and the auxiliary air inlet on the upper fuselage can be used for takeoff, landing, and low-altitude flying, 
preventing ingestion of ground debris. Thereby, the engines receive air through louvers on the Lurxus, which open automatically when intakes are closed. However, the latest variant of the family, the MiG-35, eliminated these dorsal louvers and adopted the mesh screens designed in the main intakes, similar to those fitted to the Su-27. The MiG-29 has a ferry range of 1,500 kilometers, 930 miles, without external fuel tanks, and 2,100 kilometers, 1,300 miles, with external tanks. The internal fuel capacity of the original MiG-29B is 4,365 L, 960 M gal, 1,153 US gal, distributed between six internal fuel tanks, four in the fuselage and one in each wing. For longer flights, this can be supplemented by a 1,500 L, 330 M gal, 400 US gal, centerline drop tank and, on later production batches, two 1,150 L, 250 M gal, 300 US gal, underwing drop tanks. In addition, newer models have been fitted with portside in-flight refueling probes, allowing much longer flight times by using a probe and drogue system. The cockpit features a conventional center stick and left-hand throttle controls. The pilot sits in a Zvezda K36DM ejection seat. The cockpit has conventional dials with a head-up display, HUD, and a Shell 3UM helmet-mounted display, but no HODAS, hands-on throttle and stick, capability. Emphasis seems to have been placed on making the cockpit similar to the earlier MiG-23 and other Soviet aircraft for ease of conversion, rather than on ergonomics. Nonetheless, the MiG-29 does have substantially better visibility than most previous Soviet jet fighters, thanks to a high-mounted bubble canopy. Upgraded models introduced glass cockpits with modern liquid crystal, LCD, multifunction displays, MFDs, and true holders. The MiG-29 is equipped with an information and fire control radar system consisting of the N019 radar developed by the Fazitron Research and Production Company, Moscow, infrared search and track sensors, helmet-mounted laser rangefinder and target designator for longer-range air combat, the MiG-29 uses radar guidance for the R-27 missile. Thales Top Side E helmet-mounted sight and display, HMDS, is fitted to the Indian Navy aircraft. Integration phase of the upgrade encompassing ejection seats, weapon delivery, and navigation system was completed in November 2009. Thales also supplied Totem 3000 inertial navigation and GPS. <laughs>